Yes, you can use vitamin C and copper peptides together. We're gonna to answer this question. I'm gonna show you from a scientific perspective. It's not that you can't use them together. It's just whether or not your vitamin C requires you to wait before your peptides in order to be effective. Let's go a little science. Your skin pH is right around this yellow orange. So it's around that four and a half to five and a half. When you use a vitamin C that's not stabilized, then that's actually gonna bring the pH level down and into this red and pink territory. Then when you apply copper peptides, the copper peptides are gonna be, be a little bit higher than your skin pH. So if you're using a vitamin C that has a low pH and you're combining it with a copper peptide that's a higher pH, then you're actually gonna cancel the effectiveness out. But there are some vitamin C serums that actually operate at a skin pH. So I have some test strips that I've actually tested a couple of C serums on, and there are lots of reasons why you want to go with a skin pH, or you might want to go with a more aggressive low pH. So let me show you some of the strips. So this is the Hedo vitamin C. It's one of my favorites. It's very, very powerful. It operates at a lower pH. If you have sensitive skin, it may irritate you. If you combine this, which basically tends to cast at the lower pHs in the orange, with the peptide serum, also by Hedo, that's gonna operate right around your skin pH, maybe a tiny bit higher. So when you take a look at it, you see those two different colors, they're going to clash with each other, which is why you need to wait. But then I have two other vitamin Cs that are actually more skin stable and actually much better for sensitive skin. So if you take a look at The Fix or you take a look at Karam Skin, who have SAP and MAP type of C um, compounds that go in there, Still effective, much more sensitive, will take longer to see results, but you're not going to get the irritation because I don't care how effective a serum is, if it's irritating you, that's not great for you. So, but if you take a look at that near the peptides, you really take a look at this, not as much the clashes. So it's really something that you can layer them and you can layer them immediately. That's why you're getting all these different answers from all these different influencers. That some are saying don't mix the copper and the peptides. Some are saying do mix the copper and the peptides. I always recommend to wait the 15 minutes because I don't know what kind of C you're using. So I always say to be safe in a general routine, you're going to basically cleanse, take your C, wait 10 to 15 minutes for your skin to go back from that, um, that orange pH back to that yellow pH. And then you can put the peptides on. That way you've gotten the most effectiveness out of your C. And then the peptides can do the work in a nice skin balanced pH environment. However, if you use something that's already skin stable, like the Fix or Karam MD, then you can just layer it immediately because it's not fighting the pH system that you have in your skin. It's so complex. The C environment is so, so difficult to really kind of give you a standard, but that's as close as we can get. I hope that helps. Talk to you soon.